so I'm back again in the third part I believe uh, of my web browser um, video series uh, sorry for the previous uh, part so, uh, that I had to end so quickly because I didn't actually uh, notice that it were that we are already at 10 minutes um, so previously previously I covered uh, the navigation uh, kind of the layout um, uh, and my settings stuff and the home page which can also be set in a moment um, so actually I'm going to check this out right now so as it should be it's now going to automatically start up my uh, my profile channel page so it is loading and yes it does without actually entering in a URL um, so anyway um, I was thinking that we can actually also um, uh, well, it's actually not neat, but I think it's kind of cool uh, to save the size of your window and the position. So I'm going to type in in the settings for Z. For ah, uh, well, I don't know if it's. I don't think it's spelled right, but okay, it doesn't matter. So let's see if uh, there is some kind of ah, uh, well, um, system. A boolean? No, we don't want that. Um, as byte? No, no. Single? No, no. Ah, well. Let's see if point is in there. Ah, well, it's not in here. Uh, so, uh, so we type in x and y as both as integers. Uh, integer. Integer equals uh, both zero, and then with as integer and height as integer of course uh, which are not actually uh, zero because otherwise we can actually see this up uh, otherwise you can see this uh, window so I'm going to the property panel uh, properties of my form one I'm going to copy the size in well it's not valid right now but okay so uh, with and height are like that. So 900 is the height, and the other one is uh, the width. Uh, actually, otherwise, uh, of course. Um, so x and y. Let's do uh, something like uh, one, one. Ah, uh, well, 200 and another 200. Um, yeah. Okay. So this is just right. Uh, this is just right enough. Um, meaning that uh, I'm going to type in the form load. Um, me dot location dot x equals me dot oh setting actually setting dot x um oh well it's, oh well let's uh, let, never mind the location actually so just uh, me dot um with equals setting dot with uh, me dot hive equals setting dot height oh height um so we can actually remove the x and the y uh like that so now uh i want to go to the uh, event form closing in the form one uh events event list or whatever you want to call it. so form one closing and then i'm going to type in setting dot height equals me dot height and then setting dot width equals me dot width and then setting dot save really important otherwise it wouldn't even save it so um okay so this is uh, the default uh well when it is actually running when it will run i think it is huh um how well it did run actually kind of slow but okay it did run um <coughs> sorry um so now we have like i dragged it all like this so now it's pretty long um so just close it again and let's run it again i hope it is good yeah see it did save the actual uh size so well it's not in need of something but i think it is kind of cool uh um, so anyway, uh, let's uh, get started with bookmarking, um, which is actually needing another split panel. So I gotta have to delete um, the actual uh, 
uh, element, uh, the browser element, I'm going to put it in right back uh, after I put uh, a split container into panel 1. Uh, I'm going to change the name to SC2 because this one this one is 2. Uh, setting the orientation to horizontal 2. Um, let's drag it up like that. Same kind of same height. Uh, doesn't have to m uh, that. or doesn't have to uh, be the same height. Uh, so fixed panel is going to be panel 1 again. So this one can't change from size. Okay, so. Um, let's, yeah, let's add a button, for instance, so, uh, like that, uh, I'm going to call this one btn add bookmark, and then the text is going to be add as bookmark, okay, um, uh, it doesn't matter when I spell it wrong or something, but okay, um, and now I am going to uh, add a let's see list view uh, just in that box actually. Um, whoa! whoa, whoa. Uh, okay, so um, for this tutorial, I'm actually saving all of uh, the settings and stuff and the bookmarks into the actual uh, in the settings menu and this in the actual exe file. Uh, which you can also do is put it in an INI file or something and stuff like that. Um, if you don't know how to do that, uh, you can do actually the same as what I'm going to do. And I have friends that are quite annoying actually. So uh, yeah, I'll just uh, leave like that. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter actually. Um, so anyway, uh, you can uh, either way uh, write it to a file. Uh, if you don't know how to write to a file, go to my channel and see more about that. Um, and stuff like that. It's actually kind of the same, but then not saving it into the settings, but then writing it into a file. Um, okay, so <laughs> I'm uh, ready with th with talking. So the back color of um, the list view is going to be the same as um, as the as the background of my form. Uh, so we can actually don't we can't actually see, uh, see it and uh, bold aside also to none so it actually is kind of invincible invisible I mean oh well uh, we got an error and that is because we said we said I mean uh, that um, when we press home or something it will navigate WB1 to a site. But since it isn't declared because I deleted it, I have to put it in, in panel 2 and change the name back to WB1. And let's press, uh, let's try it again. Okay, so it did run actually. Uh, so actually, see, it's, uh, you can't actually see anything in here. Just, uh, oh, we gotta have to fix this actually. Um, which actually doesn't matter, but I don't like it. So we we're going to change that to um let's see which thing that is i think it is in uh cs2 um splitter is fixed um meaning it's true so splitter is fixed is under a layout so is splitter fixed i mean um let's see if this one is for cs1 2 no, so when it is fixed, uh, you can't change the size of it actually. Um, yeah, okay. Um, so, anyway, that's already solved. So, um, I'm going to type in add, uh, add as, uh, add bookmark. I mean, uh, you probably have to uh, do something like uh, checking when it is already added or not. Um, I'm not going to do that. I think you can solve that your own by checking if any kind of string in the uh, in this list view is um, uh, already existing. So uh, the last thing in this tutorial I'm going to do is changing the name from list view one to LV from list view and then book marks. Okay, so that was the last thing. So now I have kind of uh, uh, well, I, I can say bye to you uh, and not have to hurry up. Uh, so, thanks for watching this video. Uh, feel free to comment, rate, subscribe, or email me. Email address is at the description of the video. 
Um, so any questions can be sent to that. Um, so yeah, uh, be sure to check out the next part. So thanks for watching this video again, and I'll catch you in the next part.